Hey guys, Mel here. Thanks for joining me for today's practice. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So coming to child's pose if you're comfortable there. So big toes together, knees out wide and if you want to bring your knees in of course go ahead but just trying to settle down, reach your arms forward, maybe rest your head on the mat, on your hands but just finding a position that you can relax into here. And then just closing down the eyes. Although in the virtual sense, we don't have that same energetic space, or at least it feels like we don't. So we really need to kind of speed up our process of finding our practice, sharing kind of that universal connectivity. And so as you find child's pose here, just really trying to settle into your body, into your breath. And draw on the energy around. And just taking a few more of your deepest, longest breaths. See if you can wiggle your hips a little with the breath, moving in a way that feels really natural. And when you find the end of your next breath, we're just gonna make our way up onto hands and knees, just finding our four point pose. So as we arrive in our four-point pose, we're just going to make sure that we feel really stable. So however that might look for you, rock forwards and back a little until you find it. And then we'll just come through three rounds of cat-cow. So breathing in to lift your tail, drop your belly, draw your heart forward, draw the shoulders back. And exhale, tuck the tail round, lower, mid, upper back, drop the head. Inhale, breathe the heart forward. And exhale, lift the spine, press into the hands. Last time, big breath in. And big breath out. And staying on all fours, coming into your neutral spine. It's going to stretch into the wrists a little. Now, any time throughout this practice, come back to this if your wrists are needing it. But turning your hands around one at a time, you can do both if you're really clever. Fingers pointing towards your knees or out to the sides if that feels a bit too much. And just moving a little forward and back or a tiny movement side to side. You can move your hips or you can be still here as well. It's really pressing into your fingertips, the heels of your hands, maybe lift your shoulders a little. Just take one more breath doing this. And then slowly release one at a time, give them a good shake. And once you come back over, come on to the tops of your hands. So maybe the top of your left hand, maybe you can do both, but you might feel one at a time. And just kind of play around with that space. Pushing the shoulders back. And then just coming back into that neutral spine. Give your wrists another good shake. And then leaning into your left hand, let's float the right hand out towards the side or the ceiling. And exhale, send the right hand underneath your left shoulder, drop onto your right ear or temple. Now from here, lean your hips a little to the right. Press into the left hand, maybe rotate your gaze to your ceiling. And just holding here for a few breaths. Or if you want to, you could tuck your right toes into the ground, extend your left leg back, and then out towards the left hand side. Once it gets there, see if you can grab hold of your left big toe. Doesn't matter if you can't, but finding a little bind perhaps, and maybe lifting the left arm up. Try to find that reach of the fingertips. Take a full breath in, and breath out, left hand comes down. You can slide the left leg back, however you choose to do it. Bend the knee, inhale, lift the right hand up, and then exhale, drop the right hand down. When you're ready, left arm floats, 
exhale, that arm comes under, drop onto your left ear or temple. And then from here, once again, leaning the hips a little to the left, pressing into the right hand. You could tuck your left toes or keep them untucked, extend the right leg back perhaps, and then out towards the right hand side. Maybe hooking the peace fingers of the left hand around the right big toe. And if that's feeling good, gazing up, right arm towards the ceiling. Another one or two breaths here. And then right hand meets the earth. Unhook the left fingers, fly, floating the right leg back. Inhale, left arm up. And then exhale, just bring it down. And just move back and forth, side to side with the hips. Any kind of natural movement here. And when you're ready, tuck your toes, spread the fingers, lift up. Let's find our first down dog. So just approaching this with a bit of curiosity, moving, letting the knees pedal, heels lift, arms adjust, head move, all of the things. We'll just take maybe a couple more breaths. Maybe you've found some stillness now. And taking another inhale, lifting up onto your tippy toes, just drop your knees all the way down onto the ground. From here, coming back onto all fours, breathing in to lift your heart. And then taking your toes out towards the right hand side, lean into the sit bones, pull your right knee in and extend your left leg along. From here, holding onto the right knee, finding that height, and if this is feeling like it's quite a bit as it is, stay as you are. Or if it's an option to cross your right leg over the left leg, go ahead. Now bringing the right hand behind you, pressing into the right fingertips. Let's lift the left arm up, bending at the left elbow, bringing the elbow onto the outside of the right knee. Find a little supine twist as you look over your right shoulder. Now if that feels too much of the elbow hook, just holding on with the hand. From here, we're going to start getting straight into our side planks or our modified versions of. So we're taking a big breath in. And then as we breathe out, we're going to let that left hand come back onto the ground. Now, just around to that hip somewhere. It'll kind of land where it's going to land. Fingertips out or however they feel more stable for you. As we roll onto the outer edge of that left leg, we're just going to float the right arm up and lift the hip. Now this is where we might stay, and you might even not come very high, it might just be a little lift up. If you're okay here to lift the right knee, go ahead, take a big breath in, and then breath out, drop the right foot back down on the left hand side, drop the hips, bring the right hand back down, left arm comes up, let's come back into that twist, so whatever variation feels good. Look over your back shoulder, take another full breath in. And then breath out, start to come back to center. Inhale, lifting up with the left hand. See if you can float into it this time. Whatever variation works for you. So it doesn't mean that your arms need to be straight, bent or anything. You can play around. <laughs> this is me playing. And then bring it, <laughs> and getting confused. Drop the foot down, drop the hips back, bring the right hand back down. Left hand comes up, back into that twist. And we're just gonna do that one more time. Full breath here. And then when you're ready, inhale, left arm comes up, left hand comes down, whatever variation works for you. And then just bring it all the way back down. This time, drop your sit bones, hop your right foot in, bring it forward. Inhale, lifting the heart, maybe bending the knees, ready for a forward fold, bringing the arms down, maybe wrapping them around the backs of the knees, belly towards thighs, head just hangs. Maybe you're holding your feet. Maybe you're holding or pressing into the fronts of the legs. And take one more full breath. And slowly coming up, let's pull the left knee in. This time, once again, if you want to keep it on the inside of the leg, go ahead. Or if you're okay, bringing it onto the outer edge, drop it over the outer side. 
You can hold on to your left knee, left hand behind the hip, or find the height and come into a slightly deeper twist as you look over that shoulder. And just holding here for a couple of breaths, getting ready to find that side plank sequence. Just remembering we don't need to go too deep. You can have a few more opportunities to find side plank. Take another full breath in, coming back, bringing the right hand down beside you, press into it, start to lift the left arm up. Remember we can keep the hips grounded or we can float them up just a little. We can keep that leg down or we can lift the knee, lift the hand, take another big breath in. Left leg comes down, grounded on the outside of the right leg. Left foot comes, left hand, sorry, comes down, right hand up. And then find your variation of a twist. Take a full breath. And come back to center. Right hand down, left arm comes up, inhale. And then exhale, finding that variation that works for you. Take a breath. And then bring the leg back down, drop the hips, come back into that twist, left hand beside the left hip, right hand comes across, big inhale. Exhale, last time into that side plank, bring the hand down, roll over onto it, keep the foot grounded, find space. And then just bringing it down, cross the leg, drop the hips, extending that left leg forward. Feel free to give your legs a little bit of a shake, inhale, lifting up and choosing your own adventure in your forward fold. You can bend your knees, hold on to them, pull your heart a little closer, and then just drop your head. And take one more full breath. And slowly start to come back up with the heart, roll the shoulders, lean into the hands, cross your legs, come forward onto hands and knees. Tucking your toes, take a big breath in and then lift up, downward facing dog again. And pedal your feet, you might still need some movement here. Then once you arrive, we're going to press into that left foot, float the right leg up towards the ceiling, bend the right knee, open the hip. Taking the foot over towards the left a little, keep pressing firmly into the hands. Take another full breath in and then right foot just meets the earth. When you're ready, inhale, left leg comes up, bend the knee, open that hip. Try to find good pressure through the hands. Take another big breath in and breath out, left foot comes down. When you're ready, lifting up onto your tippy toes, inhale, rolling forward into a plank. So our push up position. Now once again, you can drop to your knees, take modifications that work. Otherwise, exhale, lower all the way to the ground. Once you get here, untuck your toes, expand your, expand your heart forward, cobra, and then exhale, just dropping down with the forehead. From here, extend your left arm out towards the side, like you're really reaching it, and drop onto your left ear or temple. We're going to lean into that left hand, lift the right leg up, bend the knee, and take the right foot all the way over to the left. Now, from this position, if you can drop the foot, go ahead and drop it. And if it's feeling okay from here, I'm gonna encourage you to find a little bit more space. So we're rolling onto that left shoulder. We've got a big opening here. This might be enough. Or if you want to, start to pick up your right knee and pull it towards your right shoulder. You're gonna feel that along the outer, the outer side of the hips. If you want a bit more though, see so you can grab hold of your right foot and extend it towards the ceiling pulling the shoulder blades together. If this feels too much, please let it go. Take a full breath in and then breath out, bringing that foot down, bring the right hand down, rolling back to center. Now just taking the time you need to come back, come onto your forehead, left hand underneath the left shoulder. Let's roll the shoulders back, find Cobra. Exhale, float the forehead down. Take the right hand out to the side, look to the left. Pressing into your left hand, lift the left leg up, bring all the way over to the right. Now the foot being down on the ground just gives you that little kickstand to find a bit more space. It's not necessary, however. Now feel free to stay here. 
or if you want to, start to lift up that left leg so the knee will come up. This will feel intense just by itself. You can stay here or hold on to that left foot and extend it. So not only are we getting into the hips, we're feeling this pretty intensely through the shoulders more than likely. Please scale if it feels too much. Lots of big movements all together. Let's take another full breath in. And breath out, letting that foot come down. Extending, bringing the left hand back, rolling onto the belly. Take your time, it often feels a little bit sticky coming out of this one. Hands underneath the shoulders, roll your shoulders back, find cobra, and then lifting up, downward facing dog. Take a big breath here. And then when you're ready, lifting up onto your tippy toes, walk your feet all the way to your hands as you breathe out. Soften your knees to so bring a bend to them, let your belly fall onto your thighs, hold on to opposite elbows. Maybe just let the head and the upper body sway from side to side. If it feels good to add a little bit of shoulder action here, bringing the right hand onto the back of the left shoulder blade and the left sh hand on the back of the right shoulder blade and just move around. Let's take another full breath in. And then breath out, let the hands come down. Let's roll up to standing. You can do this however you choose. Flat back, rounded back, just coming up, but being mindful of your spine's process on the way up. When you're ready, bring your gaze up, lift your hands, find that spark. Take a big breath in here. And then as you breathe out, dive your hands through your heart, just come back into that fold. Slide your hands up onto your legs, forward or float them for a halfway lift and then exhale finding that fold once again soften the knees halfway lifting on your next breath in ground your hands step back let's find downward facing dog now taking a couple of breaths here always welcome to throw in a chaturanga if you like and then from here we're going to lean into that left foot again lift the right leg up bend the right knee open up through that hip Pressing into the hands. Take another full breath in and slow and steady. We're going to bring the right knee forward, leaning into the hands, but bringing the right foot onto the outside of the right hand. Drop your back knee, low lizard. Take the right foot out to the side, heel slightly inward of the toe. Maybe staying up on your hands or coming onto your elbows. Maybe one elbow is down. Feel free to use your blocks or even a pillow underneath your elbows for this one. Just finding a few breaths. If you need to wiggle about, forwards and back, go ahead. And just taking one more. And coming back up onto your hands, making sure they're about shoulder distance. Tuck your back toes, lift the back knee, and just step back, downward facing dog. Be simple movements here. Left leg lifts up, bend the knee, open the hip. Then keeping the knee quite high, take that foot onto the outside of the left hand. Heel in, drop the back knee, staying on the hands, maybe blocks underneath them, maybe you want a cushion for underneath your elbows, maybe blocks, maybe nothing. And just see if you can sink into this. Feel free to move the foot around, the knee around, but keep the movement safe. This is a big one as well. And two more breaths. And slowly coming up. Coming up onto your hands, underneath your shoulders, tuck your back toes, float it up, downward facing dog. On your next breath in, maybe bring your gaze forward, bend your knees, stepping, walking, coming forward, halfway lift, breath in, fold on your breath out. Coming all the way up to standing so you can bend your knees or come up with a flat back. Find height, inhale. Hands in towards the heart, take the feet out wide. Malasana, heels inwards of the toes. Blocks underneath the sit bones or using your hands on the ground for a bit of support. 
and then just rotating on the heels so the toes will lift as you move side to side, pushing the knees out. Taking another full breath in. And then as you breathe out, let your hands just come down as you start to lift your hips, lean into your heels, turn your toes forward, forward fold. Inhale, find a halfway lift, ground your hands, step back, high plank. Now holding in our plank for a moment, feel free to drop to your knees. And we're just gonna come through a couple of little side planks so that we get an idea of the modifications. So from here, dropping your right knee down, lean into your right hand. Your right toes could come out to the side or they could stay back. Step the left foot back a little, come onto the inside and float your left hand up. This is our modification, the knee grounded. Take a big breath in and then bring that left hand down. Come into plank pose, knees or toes. And then from here, drop your left knee down, left foot out to the side or keep it where it is. Drop onto the inside of that back foot, right hand up. Take a big breath in, breath out, that hand comes down. Plank pose, inhale, shifting forward a little. Lower, exhale. Up dog or cobra. And then exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in and out. Inhale, right leg lifts up now. Bend the right knee, open up through your hip. Take another full breath in. And then as you breathe out, step your foot between your hands. From here, come up, crescent lunge. Now, if you want to take some time, hands on hips, just welcome that space in a little bit more. And then when you're ready, find the reach of your hands, find a big lift, take a big breath in here. And then breath out, just bring your hands down either side of your front foot. Now grounding through your hands, we're going to from here, start to find a bit of a twist. So right hand will come up towards the ceiling. Now if that feels a bit much, right hand on the knee is pretty good too. From here, we're gonna lift up, roll onto the outer edge of the left foot and float the right knee up. Now we can keep the knee bent, take a big breath in and then step the right foot back to the top of the mat. Inhale, coming up, crescent lunge. And then exhale, dropping back into our high lizard. So hands on the inside of that right foot, heel slightly inward, toes slightly out. Hold here, keeping the left knee lifted, push the left, knee, uh, the left heel back. Take another full breath in and out. From here, just step it back, find downward facing dog, take a big breath. And then when you're ready, left leg lifts up, bend the knee, open up through the hip. Take another inhale, then stepping the foot between the hands, lifting the mid upper back, coming up, crescent lunge. Find your space, hands on hips. If you need to be a bit higher, bend into that back knee just to help with that stability and go ahead. Take another full breath in. And then breath out, bring the hands down, coming into that twist, right hand stays grounded, float your left hand up. Now always know you can stay here, otherwise if you want to, roll into the outer edge of the back foot, pick the left knee up. Doesn't need to be very high, just try to open and balance, take a full breath in. With control, step that foot to the top of the mat, high lizard, hands on the inside of the foot, push the heel back, pull the heart forward. Now really trying to emphasize that right heel back, heart forward. Take one more breath. Downward facing dog when you're ready. Pedal through the feet, move about. And then when you're ready, we're going to float the right leg back up. Bend the knee, open the hip. Take another big breath in, then step your foot to the top of the mat. From here, staying low, ground into your left hand, float your right hand up into the twist. Now stay here or come into a side plank variation so the knee will lift. Maybe you can straighten. Take a big breath and then step it forward, high lizard. Roll onto the ball of your back foot, pull your heart forward. Once again, stay here or leaning into your left hand, interlace your right piece fingers around your right big toe, lift the hips slightly, roll onto the outer edge of that back foot, pull the right heel in, 
lifting that leg. Take another big breath in, and then breath out, step the foot to the top of the mat. Crescent lunge from here, inhale. And then exhale, welcome the body into warrior two. So from here, moving around, bouncing, adjusting the shoulders. Then when you're ready, start to straighten everything up, lifting up, big breath in. And then big breath out, come back into it. From here, we're gonna inhale, come up, pull that left heel in, surfers lunge, lifting the right toes, dropping down. Take a big breath in here. Now use your hands at any time, but see if you can drop onto your sit bones, breath out. Bring your left hand behind you, slide the left leg back, side plank towards the back of the mat. Take a big breath in. Breath out, drop your hips, pull that left knee in. From here, this is gonna be the tricky part, rolling forward. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, send the hands down, chaturanga or downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths. You might wanna stay with your shoulders and skip the chaturangas. When you're ready, left leg lifts up. Bend the knee, open your hip. Then stepping the foot forward, coming into that twist straight away. So keep the right hand grounded, float the left hand up. Stay in the twist or drop onto that heel. Lift the left leg, find height, maybe extend. Then stepping the foot to the top of the mat, find that lizard. Take a big breath in and out. Now stay in your high lizard or hook your left piece fingers around the left big toe. Once again, side plank, pull the heel in. Find your balance, maybe lift up. And then stepping it forward. Crescent lunge coming up. Exhale, a nice soft, bouncy <laughs> movie warrior two. Roll the shoulders back. Once you've found your warrior two, find height, big breath in. Big breath out, come back into it. <sighs> Inhale, coming up. Turn that back heel in, bend the knee, surfers lunge. Now use your hands anytime. From here, if it's an option, drop down, dropping onto the sit bones. From here, you're going to drop the right hand down, sweep it down, find side plank. Take another big breath in, bringing the hips down, pull the right foot back in, hands at heart, see if you can lift into it, and then come forward, crescent lunge. Bring the hands down, chaturanga, or downward facing dog. Take a few breaths. Now things are gonna get a little bit more interesting with this round. So from here, I'm gonna float the right leg up, same thing, bend the knee, open the hip. Then when you're ready, stepping the right foot forward, come into the twist, float the right hand up. From here, lean into the outer edge of that back foot, Float the right knee up and see if you can just let it hover on the left hand side. Then bringing it forward, lizard pose, pull your heart forward, breath in. Breath out. Hook your peace fingers around the big toe, lift the hips. That modified Vasi Strasana, so lift. And then letting go of the foot. This is where it gets interesting. Hand down. Walk the left hand back a little, bring your right knee on the back of the tricep, hug the elbows in, <laughs> float the left leg up. Ekapada Kundanyasana two. Step the foot forward, crescent lunge. Warrior two, exhale. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, come back into it. Inhale, lift up, pull the back heel in, dropping down. This time we won't sit back. Take a full breath in and out. Bend the front knee, inhale, come forward, crescent lunge. And then ground your hands, step back, downward facing or chaturanga. Take a couple of breaths. And then left leg lifts, bend the left knee, open the hip. From here, stepping the left foot forward, getting ready for the twist. Ground into your right hand, lift your left hand up. Roll into the outer edge of that foot, floating up with the leg, finding height, maybe hovering that foot back. 
and then bringing it all the way forward, lizard pose, hands down, inhale, heart forward, exhale, hooking peace fingers around the big toe, lift the hips, floating up, full Vasistrasana, and then if you want to, left hand down, walk the right hand back a little, keep the left knee high, Ekapada Kundanyasana, two. From here, crescent lunge. Inhale, lift up. Warrior two, exhale. Straighten everything up, breath in. Back into it, breath out. Inhale, coming up. Surface lunge, back heel in, drop. Take a full breath. Then inhale, coming all the way forward, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands meet the earth. Downward facing dog, take a full breath in and out. Inhale, right leg lifts up. Bend your right knee, open the hip, let's come into low lizard. Step the right foot forward, drop your back knee, maybe come onto your elbows. Just catching your breath. Holding here for maybe five more. If you're wanting a little bit more, if your hips are feeling like they've got a bit of space, taking your right hand and bringing it onto your right foot or your right ankle. And then from here, you're just leaning and looking towards that right foot, maybe holding the foot and just dropping your head onto the inside of that foot slash ankle. Take this one more breath. And slowly coming up onto your hands, hands underneath the shoulders. And then from here, tucking your back toes, send the right foot back, plank pose, inhale. Exhale, low plank. Breath in, up dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. Once you arrive, left hand side, bend the knee, open your hip. And then step the left foot forward, low lizard. Back knee drops. Hands on the inside of the foot. Or maybe you're going to drop onto your elbows. If you want to try that deeper variation, holding onto your left foot, left ankle, pull the head in. Just hanging out in your lizard. And one more full breath. And slowly coming up, coming onto your hands, tuck your back toes, chaturanga, inhale, exhale. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Inhale, lift up onto your tippy toes, drop your knees out wide, child's pose, send the sit bones back, reach the arms forward or hands underneath the head. Just taking a few deep breaths here. And slowly start to lift up. Coming up to sit on your heels and we're then just going to take the feet out to the side and find a comfortable seat here. Let's sit cross-legged. So however you would normally sit cross-legged and then maybe you need to prop something underneath your sit bones or a, a cushion or anything really and maybe a blanket and start to reach your hands forward. Let's just broaden through that lower back. You can hold your head. You can rest your head maybe on the ground. Or maybe look at your hands and find a little mudra. Let's take one more full breath here. And slowly lifting up. Roll your shoulders, lean back into your hands and you're just gonna cross your legs the way that you haven't naturally done it. So it feels a little awkward. From here, same thing. Maybe sitting on something is coming into its own right now, but hands forward. Maybe the head comes down, maybe it doesn't, maybe we say hi. 
feels nice to, if you can rest your face or your head on your hands. Or if you can get a visual of your hands, find a little mudra that suits. Your hands kind of naturally do their own little things anyway. Constantly making these little mudras. And last couple of breaths. And slowly start to lift up. Give your shoulders a nice big roll. And then just make your way onto your back from here. And come onto your back, hug your knees in. Roll from side to side. Just give yourself some space. And from here, just dropping your left knee down left foot, sorry, down, so the left knee points up. Flex your right foot, bring your right ankle just in front of the left knee. Keep the space between your thighs, so try not to bring your legs together, but drop your legs over to the left so your right knee points up. Hold on to your right ankle with your left hand, open up your right arm, the right knee still points up, and you're trying to really let go of that right hip onto the earth. If you're anything like me, this stretch just feels like all the goodness in the world put into a shape. I love it. So I would recommend, if you have the time, knowing that we're winding down, hang out here for ages. <laughs> like half a day is a good time, I reckon. But if you don't have the time, coming back to centre, hug your knees in. And then just dropping the right foot down, right knee lifted. Bring the left ankle in front of the right knee. Keep your space between your thighs. So it's not so much a supine twist. And then dropping the legs over to the right. Hold on to your left ankle with your right hand. Pull it closer to your hip. Just let your left arm just kind of flop out. And just let gravity do its thing. So let the hip fall down. You don't need to tense. You don't need to really help this one. And I think that's what I love about it so much, is the more you relax, the deeper it feels. It's so nice. I think I call this like my mum muscle, because I notice a lot of mums get a lot of release from the stretch. Again, hanging out, hanging out here for as long as you can. Otherwise, just take one more breath. And then coming back to center, draw your knees in. Maybe we just rock from side to side or move the knees out and in. Maybe a happy baby might feel good. Maybe not. And from here, just let your body move naturally. You'll probably automatically move into some kind of supine twist variation. Just let it happen. Close your eyes and let it happen even if you can. And then when you're ready, relax your body and find maybe a bit brief, but a little bit of Shavasana. If it suits you to come up into a seat, of course come up into a seat. But just try to relax your shoulders, relax your hips, relax your legs, relax your face. And similar to that outer hip stretch. If you have time, space, and energy for Shavasana, then please stay here for no less than five minutes, if time allows for it. If just squeezing this short practice into your day is all you can manage and it's time for you to go, I'll take this time to sign off as well. Namaste.